Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier puppy, but you're worried about scams? In this video, I'm going to walk you through what a Boston Terrier puppy pet scam is and the things that you can do to protect yourself so you're not scammed. And it's going to be really interesting because I'm going to show some real life examples and I hope this helps you. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today what I want to do is break down two websites that I've come across that are 100% Boston Terrier pet scams. Now, this is actually from an email that I received just this morning from my website. Somebody was asking, hey, is this website a pet scam? And he thought it was, and absolutely. Now, these are the two best scam websites that I've seen, but I'm going to show you some ways that you can help identify whether or not it is a pet scam just so you don't lose you know, a couple hundred dollars. So the very first thing is, what is a Boston Terrier pet scam? It's simply a website where they're gonna show you cute, adorable Boston Terriers at very low prices to try to lure you in. And a lot of them will offer, well, all of them offer shipping. Now the shipping can be free. Any of the ones that I've come across, they've all said free shipping. But now what I wanna do is actually dive into the website so I can show you what to look out for. Okay, the very first website that I wanna show you is Lewis Boston Terriers or lewisbostonterrier.com. This is a website that somebody had messaged me this morning because they are wanting to know if this is a scam website. Before I get into it, actually, I created a video and that'll be in the show notes below, or you can check it right here, where I actually walk you through three different places where you can start your Boston Terrier search, and these are reputable websites. So if you wanna check those out, go to the show notes or right here for the video. Now, before I start spotting all the flaws in this website, I do wanna show you what this website looks like because I think this is a very good built website and it's totally a scam. Here's their homepage, looks looks great. Yeah, it might be stock photos, but that's not a particular red flag. And then you go to their about us section. They have a nice about us section. It's very detailed. So if you're somebody who was looking for a Boston for the very first time, you might not even think this is a scam website. And hence, that's why I got the question. Has there available puppies? Their testimonials, what's very unique about this is actually they have real Boston Terriers in each of the photos with a person for their testimonials. Then they have the shipping and then of course the contact us. So now I wanna get into all the red flags that I found on this website. So the first red flag is what I found on the available puppies. So if you go to the available puppies and you start scrolling down, the very first thing that I see as a red flag is a price tag of $800. Now, most scam artists are gonna price their puppies somewhere around the 700 to $800 mark. And that's because it's really cheap for a Boston Terrier. Right now, on average, it runs the gamut, but I would say you could reasonably expect to spend at least $1,200 on a Boston Terrier puppy. So they try to make the prices almost too good to be true, but up there high enough where you think it's legitimate. So if you see a puppy priced around the $700 mark, that is a red flag for a scam. Not saying it is, but that's the first red flag. Now, the second red flag and something that you can check, and this isn't gonna be something you can tell by scanning the website, but let's say you see a Boston Terrier like, and for this instance, it's not gonna pop up on every single Boston Terrier photo. But I did find it for Opal here. So you can literally just right click and then save image as, save it to your desktop. And we'll let me move this out of the way. So you save it, it gets saved at the bottom. And then what you do is you go to Google and you just do a Google image search. You do the Google image search. And then you just carry your photo, put it in there. And what you need to do is go to the very bottom of this screen because it's actually gonna show you page that includes the matching image. And then here, you can already tell this is a scam website because it's a Boston Terrier website, but it says available parrots. You can click on this website and then you scroll down and there you go. And it was Opal, but here she's Toby. So once again, that's the second red flag, not saying that, you know, you don't know at this point which website could possibly be the scam. So let's keep going over the red flags with Lewis Boston Terrier. So that was the first one. The next one, so we already covered the price, the stock images, and a third thing, doing the reverse Google search to see if you can find it on other websites as far as the Boston Terrier being there. Now the fourth red flag actually comes from their About Us section. 
So if you go to their about a section, click over to it. It's going to take you to this page. And I already highlighted it because I read through it. And what I thought was interesting, it says, I guess this person's wife, she has served the Boston Terrier Club American as membership chairman, board member, and for the last 15 years as a column writer for the Boston Terrier Review. So the very first thing, and they say they've both been like with the organization. If you've been a member of the Boston Terrier Club of America, you would know how to spell it correctly. And if they were a membership chairman, this leads to a whole other bunch of issues. So that is the fourth red flag. And along with that, fifth red flag was the American Boston Club that they wrote here. There is no American Boston Club. There is the Boston Terrier Club of America. And that was a red flag. And then the next red flag, once again, and I'm going off of, they said that they were a member, actually a chairman of the Boston Terrier Club of America. Then you wouldn't have spelled it wrong here. The Boston Clubs of America. It's the Boston Terrier Club of America. And this was on their home screen. Now, the next red flag goes on the about us section. So once you again, you're going to have to do some reading. But with this, it says their coat colors available are black, black and tan, chocolate, chocolate and cream, cream, tan, blue, red, and the price for the remaining doxy pups start at $500. So let's just say, sure, they're breeding doxy pups as well as Boston Terriers. That's totally a doable thing. But what I wanted to highlight was the colors. If somebody was affiliated with the Boston Terrier Club of America, they know that these are not the breed standard colors and they would be breeding to the standard. So they wouldn't allow blue in there. There is no cream. So keep that in mind. You're gonna wanna know what are the Boston Terrier standards and that'll help you on your journey of finding a breeder that's number one, breeding to the standard and will help you avoid any scams. Now, I did create an article on the Boston Terrier Society.com website. I'll leave that article in the show notes below on how to find a reputable breeder. And I hope that'll at least point you in the right direction on your search for a Boston Terrier puppy. But before we move on to the next website, I do wanna highlight the shipping area with Lewis Boston Terrier here. Most reputable breeders are not gonna ship their Boston Terriers. Now, once again, some might, so I don't wanna say it's an absolute, but it's definitely a red flag. If you go down here, obviously you're not even gonna be able to go see the Boston Terrier puppy. You definitely wanna go see the puppy before you purchase it. And if they're shipping Boston Terriers, there are just too many scam artists that do it this way. I would be very leery about this. So for this website, there are tons of red flags here and all are pointing to it being a scam. Once again, some of the Boston Terriers that they are saying that were for sale on here, were showing up on other websites. They were saying that they were a part of Boston Terrier Club of America and not only a part of Boston Terrier Club, they were saying that they were a member chairman of the organization, which if they were, they'd be breeding to the standard. So in my book, this is a scam. Hey, hope you're enjoying this video. Definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel if you wanna get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Also check out the show notes because I do have a playlist of other Boston Terrier scams. Or if you're thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, there's a playlist on what you should know before getting a Boston Terrier. All right, back to the show. Now I wanna go over to the next website that I found You know, whenever I was scouring this website, and that is adorableBostonTerrierPuppies.com. Now this one was pretty good. They actually had, you know, they had a phone number posted here. They have an About Us section. They have their available puppies. They also have reviews, only one review, but that's okay. It looks like a legitimate website if you've never been here before. So here's some things that you're gonna to wanna to do for your due diligence. Once again, you're gonna to wanna to look for all the red flags that are out there. So the very first thing that I did with this one, so I just went to their About Us section and I thought this was really unique. It says, our puppies are introduced to a doggy door to start potty training when they begin walking. When I read that, I was like, that is, that's unique. I don't know if other breeders do that. So I went ahead and copied that. So depends on what you're on, Command C if you're on a Mac. And I go to Google and you just put this in quotations. So put your first quotes up, paste that in there, and then you block it off with another set of uh, quotations, hit enter, and it's gonna give you every website with that exact verbiage. And I've already clicked on some of these. These Facebook groups don't exist, but here at Yuck, or Yorkie Puppies Home, my three sites, you go down there. And they have a phone number there, but you can control command F if you're on a Mac and then you paste that in there and boom, our main goal, it says the exact same thing. So chances are, I don't know, but maybe this is a scam website affiliated with the other website. And then if you just go back, um, they have dash hounds. Let's do Bulldog Puppies Home. You click on that website. Okay. And then we can command F. 
boom, right there. Same exact thing. So once again, you don't know which one's a scam, but that to me is a red flag whenever verbatim somebody else is using it on their other website. So that would be a red flag for me. Okay, the next red flag for adorable Boston Terrier puppies would be you go to their available puppies and look, all the prices, 700, 750, 750, 700. And once again, of course, Toby, which was another name on the other website. So obviously that's a red flag. And I bet if you search these images, you're going to find the same results like Nova here. So let's go ahead and save image as. My screen here. We save Nova. And I haven't done this yet. I just wanted to test it out. So let's go to Google image search. And now we're going to put the image into Google. And remember, again, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. See? Um, okay, and here we go. It wasn't on the website. It wasn't on any other website. So I just wanted to show you that as an example. I hadn't, I hadn't done that yet. That chances are you might not find that image. That's why you might want to do multiple images if you're trying to figure out whether or not a website is a scam website. And I can't reiterate enough. If you're looking for a reputable Boston Terrier breeder, check out Boston Terrier Club of America Breeder Referral Program. I'll leave some links in the show notes and you can always Google it. So the next thing that was a red flag for me on adorable Boston Terrier puppies, once again, we love the breed and pride ourselves with continually breeding sound and secure companions and lovely dogs. You know, I thought this was, this looks unique, right? So we go ahead and command copy that, take it over to Google, and we're just going to do a regular Google search. But remember, we're going to do it in uh, quotations. Remember, you got to close the quotations off. And now this is going to show us all the results on the internet verbatim. So we can check out. I, I already tried, tried Bulldoggies. Oh, this is a new one. So we'll click on that one. Spurs and then uh, Command F to for finding it. Might be Control F if you're on a PC. And then you paste it in there. And once again, it's showing it showing it to us verbatim. And look, it's all the same capital letters. It's exactly the same. Free access to the doors of our home. So that's another red flag that you should be concerned about. Okay, so the next red flag that I wanted to go ahead and show you, just like in the other ones, we go to the shipping. And your puppy departs from the airport. Once again, it's almost verbatim as far as what it's covering. Now, if anyone's planning on shipping a Boston Terrier puppy, that's just a red flag for me. And I personally would avoid that situation because you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go see your Boston Terrier. So let's go ahead and just do the same exact thing that we did. And let's see, you know, and this one might be different because maybe they got this from the airline. And so you're gonna get the same results. I'm not sure, I haven't tried this yet within Google's, but let's just try it and see what websites it's popping up on. Uh, what is that? Best French pups. Okay, here we go. Classic golden doodle home shipping policy. Let's see. And that site doesn't exist. So chances are that was a scam website. Um, Heavenly Toy Terriers. Okay, let's check that out. Not there anymore. Now these scam artists, they literally will pop these websites up for a few months at a time and then take them down. And the names of them are kind of giveaways too. Well, kind of like how that was adorable Boston Terrier puppies. You know, this one was Lewis Boston Terriers because sometimes they'll put a name because I've seen Nancy Boston Terriers. I've done a video on that. But they'll pop them up really fast and then bring them down. Well, you get the idea. Try that out and see if you can find it on other websites. And then you know, at least maybe it might not be a scam, but at least it's throwing up red flags for you to help make an informed decision. Now, the last red flag that I wanted to show you on this website, once again, remember it, Look like it used to be a parrot website. But anyways, you go to their About Us section and they're super proud about their Boston Terriers. They've been doing it for more than 17 years. They're really excited. And then they always have, you know, their available parrots in case you want to buy a bird too, I guess. So anyways, that's another red flag for this thing being a scam. And I guess the very last thing that I want to do, which I haven't done yet, is actually call this number that you see on here and see what they say. So I'm just going to live call it. It's going to end horribly. But we'll see how it goes and we'll call them and see what they say. Three, three, two, zero, six, four, two, zero. Okay. 
my guess, if it's a scam, it's going to be not their voice recording. It's going to be a generic Google account because that's the kind they like to use, but we'll see what happens here. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Uh, yes, I was calling about one of your Boston Terrier puppies. Um, I was interested in Gus. If you could send me some information about him, I'd really appreciate it. My number is 913. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that. But all right, give me a call back. You got my number. Thanks. Bye. All right, we'll see what happens. I don't want to give my phone number, you know, on YouTube. That could have been crazy. Either way, I hope this video helps you find out. Once again, if you don't trust it in your gut, don't go with it. And always check the Boston Terrier Club of America Breeder Referral Program for reputable breeders. I know I sound like a broken record, but those are the best places to start your search for a Boston Terrier. And I'm going to say it again in this video, but I hope this helped you. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And remember, if you want to find some reputable breeders, definitely check out the Boston Terrier Club of America's Breeder Referral Program. That's going to be in the show notes below, as well as my website that actually has a list of different Boston Terrier rescues that you can check out there. That's going to be in the show notes. And as always, the American Kennel Club is a good resource to start your search for a Boston Terrier puppy. Now, if you want to learn more about Boston Terriers before you get one, or if you already have one and you just want to see some relatable videos, you can check out the playlist I created here of what you need to know before you get a Boston Terrier or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with Boston. Right, Bella Boo? She says yes.